Well, good morning. Uh, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to Wanstead Park. I don't think I've done a film from here before, um, but I, it's a place I know very well and I come often. Um, this particular pond is... I can just see a little grebe over there. I, I want to try and film them later. I've just been filming some uh, a swan family um, and it's quite interesting watching them pulling pulling weeds up um, and allowing their chicks to pulling them up to the surface and then allowing their chicks to uh, to feed on them. Um, they don't they don't well the, the ones I've been watching don't seem to directly put the food into the to the young mouth the young chicks mouth. They just uh, allow them they pull it up and allow them to pick it up from the water, surface of the water. Um, interesting to watch this sort of behaviour. And um, But yes, so this particular pond, um, yeah, I've had quite uh, some nice nice memories of this pond in terms of uh, wildlife experiences. It's, I sat for about an hour watching a lesser black-backed gull. They're quite uh, a voracious predator, actually, a lesser well, a great black back and a lesser black back gull, but we get a lot of uh, lesser black back gulls here. And um, it just kept diving into the water, pulling out live crayfish, landing on the shore, just, just not far from where I was sitting. And um, unfortunately, I didn't have a camera with me at the time, but it was, and it dropped these crayfish. They're like, they're like small freshwater lobsters. Dro dropped these crayfish on the, on the shore, and the crayfish are sort of like this, <laughs> in defensive posture but they had no chance against um, a voracious seagull. And it, 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 catch, it caught about um, you know, five or six crayfish, one after another in this way. And uh, after it had gone, I went over and had a look at where it had been bringing the crayfish back and they were just um, the exoskeletal remains of uh, of all these crayfish with uh, claws and tails and things, but the insides had been neatly removed and consumed. So um, that's one particular thing that uh, sticks in the mind. I'd love to get some photographs or something like that. Yeah, another another memorable um, wildlife experience I had in this particular part of Wonsley Park was um, just over the other side of the lake here. I, I saw a, a sparrowhawk and a hobby flying, flying around in the same together. It was quite, uh, quite spectacular. I love birds of prey, of course. I think I've mentioned that in previous videos, but uh, to see two of them in the sky at once, just not far from each other, was quite. Uh, they weren't interfering with each other, but uh, they just seemed to happen like that. Sometimes you can walk around for hours and not see very much, and then all of a sudden, a bit like London buses. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so this is uh, a nice place. But um, there's quite a lot to see here in Monster Park. Um, it is luckily left to, uh, the vast majority of it is less left to nature. So, um, so it, it's, it's, got, it's got quite a lot of interesting wildlife. So. Um, I managed to get a bit of footage of uh, Heron and um, I hope to get a bit of uh, film of this um, little grebe if it's about. Um, a lot of uh, geese and uh, coot, moorhen, they're all producing. Oh, there's a, a nattering away. A little grebe over there. Let's see if we can get it. Of course, they're monstrously difficult to photograph because um, because they dive down, pop up for a couple of seconds. You get focus and get your camera sorted out, and then the next minute they're under again. Well, the next second actually. See how we can get this. Uh, it's through the reeds.
Oh, there it is, it's come up, come up again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's um, a bit of a challenge filming a little group. So yeah, so I thought I'd just give you a little uh, overview of the park, show you around, and uh, I hope you enjoy. Hope you enjoy this video. Some sights and sounds of uh, Wanstead Park in the springtime. How about that? So Wanstead Park has quite a few different uh, areas, there's heathland, uh, um, woodland and quite a lot of uh, water. The water of course supports uh, a lot of fish. I know that because of the birds that are here. There are kingfisher, uh, little grebe, great crested grebe, heron, cormorant, all fish eating species which, um, which thrive here. So they're there must be a lot of fish. I've also, of course, also seen, uh, although not uh, recently, but I've seen little, uh, quite a lot of little egret here. here. Little egrets are a, <coughs> a small white heron. Well, it's more about that. <laughs> if that's small, I don't know. <laughs> um, smaller than a grey heron, anyway. So, um, yes, yeah, so a lot of, lot of uh, fish eaters. Um, but there are also uh, good areas of woodland here as well, and uh, so you have the woodland species. Um, there are also um, ponds uh, with with islands, and the islands are great for uh, for birds nesting and not being disturbed by dogs and people. So the fact that uh, it, it's left. Uh, by and large to nature and the fact that uh, there are islands really makes this quite a special place in terms of wildlife. So um, let me show you around and show you some of the things that uh, I've managed to uh, to see today. It's a bit of a funny day actually because um, <coughs> it's been sunshine and showers so it's quite uh, warm and sunny now but it was heavy rain earlier on and um, I wouldn't be surprised if the, <laughs> there's another heavy downpour later on, so I'll see what I can capture. It's just a cormorant that's just flown over. I'll uh, see what I can capture um, in between the showers. Um, but of course this, uh, these showers and, su showers and sunshine is just the, the, the best weather really for, um, for creating this uh, exuberant growth that we see all around us. So, let's see what we can see.
Well, I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me in this uh, little walk around Wanstead Park today. I've had, uh, I've had a great day. Um, photographing heron, cormorant, and uh, trying to photograph little greep um, and a few other things. So uh, it's been a funny day, rain and rain and sun, but um, yeah, it's been a really not really enjoyable to be out here. Normally I go over to Hollow Ponds or Wanstead Flats, but um, just coming over here, I've just thought maybe I should spend a bit more time in Wanstead Park, uh, capturing some of the. There's a lot more to see here um, that I haven't shown you today, but um, yeah, maybe I can uh, do a follow-up to this one and see if I can uh, bring you some of the more uh, difficult to find species um, and uh, maybe watch some of these little chicks growing up. So um, thank you for joining me and uh, I'll see you again next time.